All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with match number two from the group stages, day two, TP League season one. And we have first map Amazonia between the number one and the number two players in the world currently in respectively happy who will be in the bottom left corner of the map versus one two zero on the upper corner of the map now as of recent one two zero seen seem to be dominating this uh matchup last couple times i can remember i watched them on tournaments uh one two zero literally crashed happy i think both times it was four one both times uh i think they played another time not long ago as well where they went to all the way to seven games it was best out of seven and one to zero one four to three i'm not sure i will have a look in the statistics later for you guys and confirm this but in any ways one two zero have been the more dominant player only when it comes to this matchup though i still feel happy is by far the best player in the world currently um, but for whatever reason, 1 to 0 is dominating Happy lately. Otherwise, I think historically Happy probably will still have the advantage over 1 to 0. But even if it does, it's not going to be with too much. A Happy goes. For what he invented recently himself, and that's Lich King. Lich King ghouls opening into Fast Expo. Uh, creeping with the Lightning Shield here. That's really good, but Happy is here now. Um, 1 to 0 is here now with the DK. And his minions as well. So interesting, he's not just gonna let the Lich King get to level 2. He's close to level 2 now. Oh, the micro, the, these two, when they play, the micro is insane. Literally. Denied on the Night Minion. From 1 to 0. He managed to get to level 2. And he gets that creep as well. 1 to 0 tried to steal it with a coil. But he just wasted a coil. That Frost Nova was quicker than the coil. And let's see. Let's see. Last time. Last time they played. Uh, 1 to 0. Was insisting on DK first. And it definitely did work that time. Uh, Happy had no answers for those level 2, level 3 coils further into the game. And it looks like this time they're gonna pretty much bet on the same things. Happy will probably play Lich King. Um, in the next game as well. And possibly game 3 if they go into 3 games. And 1-0 to zero is more li most likely continue to play DK. Nice items for the Lich King though. I have to say these are very good um, items for the Lich King so far. He's going to be level 3 soon. Happy is not far from level 3 on that Lich King. I think... I feel Happy... Has a chip on his shoulder right now. And... He's gonna have to prove a point. 
And when Happy feels like he's being challenged and he needs to prove a point, well, we've seen that many times of of recent what happens to the opponent player. But that's level 3 Lich King. In the meantime, Naga second for 1 to 0. So he's going for something different at least. And it looks like he is going into Fiends as well. So he completely goes against what he was doing so far against Happy. And I'm not aware of all the games yet from yesterday. I'm about to go on back to Warcraft channel and watch it myself later. Um, I was planning on casting all the games, but for some reason only managed to find only the um, games between Lean and uh, Moon yesterday. However, today the plan is if I'm not able to find the games again, I will probably borrow the footage from from the Twitch stream, um, back to Warcraft Twitch stream. And of course, I'm going to put all the links to their channels under the descriptions of my videos. Uh, but I'm gonna have a look later on a player's forces are under attack. on the Warcraft Info website and see what is available there today. Hopefully they have all the games available this time. I'll be happy if they have them all available already. But if not, as usual, um, I might borrow the footage from Back to Warcraft and just put all the links and information under my description of the video. I will always highly, highly encourage you guys to go and support them regardless. Um, I do, I will continue to do so. And although I'm gonna be spending a lot of time practicing on how to cast games myself, as I've already said to you guys, I would like to, a um, you know, are under attack. help out a little bit, get a bit more active and give back to, to all of us that enjoy Warcraft. Um, so yeah, I don't mind doing this. Actually, I've been doing it for two days. This is third day now and I've been having a lot of fun. And it's only going to get better, boys. I've got the desire, the commitment, so it's only going to get better from here on. But DK second for Happy. It looks like he's transitioning into Fiends as well. We see the first statues out already. 1-2-0 in the meantime with the Destroyer. Lich King second, uh, third, forgive me. He's already bought the Orb of Corruption for it. Probably boots are coming. No, Info Potion. Two statues for one to zero, two fiends and three heroes. And I think we are about to have our first fight, serious fight in the game between those two. And who's gonna have the better micro now? Who's gonna make the right decisions again in the big moments? It will seem like happy respect. 1 to 0 in this instance and he will allow him to have this um, camp here in the bottom corner of the map I think he's looking for he probably was checking for 1 to 0 expansion which there is none however he's gonna steal that from him so he's giving the favor back to 1 to 0 he stole a camp from his side of the map and Happy is responding with exactly the same. A player's forces are under attack. Um I have to say some good items on both DKs, not too bad. Better items on the DK on 1 to 0, of course, I feel like.
And here we go. Here we go. They are going at it. Happy with a Dark Ranger third, by the way. I forgot to mention that. No silence yet. Or maybe we had a silence. Is that a dead Lich King? No. No, he's happy with a clutch coil. And again, another coil for the Finn. And Happy continues to fight successfully. Another coil. So far, Happy has been clutched with the coils. Okay, quick Invo Potion from Happy. And on the other hand, he nearly killed 1 to zero Lich King. Nearly, I'm saying. But they're both. Oh, they're both so identical. They mirror each other so identically. It's ridiculous so far. Uh, they they kind of lost even amount of units on each side. I would say they... I mean, look at the, the food supply. It's exactly 46 each. Oh, boys. This is Warcraft of the highest level we are witnessing today again. I was very excited yesterday for Lin vs Moon. Um, however, I don't, it, it didn't, it didn't feel as good as this feels already. Uh, for the simple fact that Lin completely dominated Moon yesterday. And I, it, it wasn't a fair match, really. Feel yesterday, Lin was just levels, levels above the moon. He completely dominated him. But usually, that's the reason I was so excited because they always. For those of you that know Warcraft, you know they always create magic. And so. But today, this was the matchup I was looking most. Four, I guess happy versus one to zero. Um, I mean, all eight players. This tournament has got some real, really, really, really strong turn up in terms of players. All eight players are really good. I would have liked to see. I would have liked to see maybe Labyrinth in the mix and. Possibly at least one human player. Um, most likely 40. On again, based on what he looked like recently, 40 had some really, really good series of recent times. Um, so I don't hear people saying about 40 or looking at him as the best human player currently, but. Um, for me personally, I'm beginning to get this feeling as 40 being the best human at the moment. I don't know, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. They're pretty even. All, all, um, all the human players at the moment, like Chemiko uh, and Sok and 40, they look to be pretty evenly balanced at the moment. But I feel like 40 is, is slightly better than them at the moment. And here we go, another fight. Silence from the Dark Ranger. Oh, that Naga is so hurt. Happy is being careful with the DK. He's a bit hurt. He doesn't have a lot of mana. He had to use the invo on the Lich King. But same as 1 to 0, however, he managed to heal that Lich King now. Oh, that Dark Ranger was out of position there. Not a good place to end up. And that's a lot of damage taken from the Dark Ranger as well. However, these statues, these undead statues, man. Happy and the undead statues. Unbelievable.
You know what I think, boys? I think we all... To make it fair, I think we all need to come up with a rule where Happy is not allowed to use statues anymore. This is just ridiculous. And that Naga is dead. Oh my god. Happy managed to snipe there. He's focused on the DK now. That's gonna be a dead destroyer, look like. No, no. One to zero still managed to use that coil, but that's a dead DK. No, not yet at least. Oh my goodness. Level five Lich King for Happy. DK almost level 4, Dark Ranger is level 3, oh my goodness, this is crazy, this is all crazy, if Happy can get enough mana for a Frost Nova, that DK is dead, Frost Nova on the Lich King however, and Happy had to pull back, Happy had to pull the Lich King back, as Coil on the Lich King. And the fight continues. Oh, that was such an exhausting and long fight. It's ridiculous. A 1 2 0 is already on summoning this gold mine. He doesn't want to allow Happy to take it easily. Army upgrades. Uh, 1 2 0 is. A bit ahead so far. Happy is unsummoning the Altar of Darkness. Curious to know why is he doing that. But I guess that's something new I'm learning on about Warcraft today. And Happy is into 1 to zero's base at the moment. Into his main... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These fights feel like they can go on forever. This is ridiculous. Coil on both Lich Kings again and again. Oh, this DK needs to be careful. And that's a dead DK. Oh my god. 1 0 for Happy. GG. What a play. And I appreciate your support, guys. Thank you for watching some Warcraft with me. I'm going to catch you on the next one. All right. Welcome back, everybody. This is game two between Happy and 120 played on Turtle Rock. And unfortunately, I couldn't find the replay for this game. So I'm just using... um. Back to Warcraft uh, footage from their stream. Uh, make sure you guys go and support them, subscribe to them, uh, become a sub on their Twitch or a member on their YouTube channel. Uh, you can support them on their Patreon as well. They've been carrying the Warcraft game and scene for a while now, so make sure you go and show them some love. And it looked like they had some issues themselves as well. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, usually sometimes um, when I watch the streams, they use um, heads, um, heads um, streams to continue broadcast their game. But this is Fly. But they had some sort of um, issues themselves and they are using Fly stream to broadcast the game themselves so I'm not controlling any other screen at the moment I can only show you and look at what they are showing us and yeah if I didn't mention this is Turtle Rock map number 2 1 nil for Happy and uh, it look uh, like they're going into the same sort of build. Well, we'll see if one to zero is gonna rely on the going into fiends again. He's definitely had the DK first. 
and on the other hand happy with the lich king and he is already creeping and i think the dk that that is what he he was trying to find uh where happy is and trying to harass him a little bit not allowing him to level up that lich king so easily and that's exactly what he's gonna do yeah he's gonna take that turtle off um happy's and he's gonna look for him again he's already going into tier two one to zero and he's training the first thing tier two for happy as well slightly behind and he continues to train uh, his ghouls And again, I think uh, one to zero managed to steal that creep away from um, Happy. I think he stole his experience here. Um, yeah, graveyard is coming on Happy side as well. Uh, he's just started to build his graveyard too. So. Possibly we're going to see early transition into Crypt Fiends for Happy as well. I think he already suspects that uh, 1 to 0 is not going for the typical ghoul into Gargos play that a lot of Undead used to do of recent times. A level 2 for Happy Lich already. And he's targeting the DK now. And that could be a dead. DK Happy has enough mana for another Frost Nova. Yes, one to zero was forced to TP here. I thought he was gonna be dead to be honest. Uh, but one to zero calculating this to the T. What a ma mathematician is one to zero. I might try I might try and call him and uh, you know, get a few math maths lessons for uni myself. Math was never my strongest side in uni, and one to zero is playing with fire here with his DK. He nearly lost him again against the creep. That would have been detrimental. He needs to be very careful because for him that is a do or die. If he loses this map again. Uh, Happy wins the game, wins the match, and is GG. See you later. Okie dokie. So they both players, for the moment, they are now starting to avoid each other and focusing on leveling their heroes. I feel like 1 to 0 especially needs to do that because he's already playing two heroes. And they're both very under leveled. In the meantime, uh, Happy is going for a DK slaughterhouse on each side. Tier three on each side as well. One to zero, slightly ahead with attack. And more fiends have been traded from Happy. Okay, DK is out now for Happy. He should be arriving and start creeping probably around the map as well. Choosing the coil as a first, which is typical. Sometimes undead players are choosing the unholy aura instead of the coil first, but very rare. Usually they choose coil first, then the aura. Um, and then they, they go both to level 3 each. Even when they uh, level the DK to up to level 6. I see more often than not. they Nobody's really using the ultimate of the DK. It's pretty useless if you ask me. Um, now I'm not mistaken with a new patch. 1.35. I think there was some sort of. Um, I need to go and um, look again at the patch notes exactly what they were gonna buff but i think the dk ultimate was one of the things they were gonna get buff um however probably still useless 
I don't see how they are gonna fix it. Um, it's not like it's not one of those things where you can just um, fix as easy with a with a with a patch. And to be fair, I wouldn't expect um, you know you can't fix every issue in the game with just one patch. Nice body blocking from one to zero here, and his DK is level three now. He's training more fiends and destroyers now coming too. Uh, they both got two statues each as well. Pretty even on the food supply. Happy is going upgrading goo frenzy at the moment too. That's an interesting decision from him. Very interesting decisions so far. But um. Once a zero is with Lich, um, DK and Naga level three each, and he's got Lich King now as a third hero. Happy, typical in his style, he's got Dark Ranger third with Silence first, Toby Mask on the DK, and Helm of Valor as well. Very, very ridiculously strong items. Some of the best items in the game, in my opinion. And so far, so good. Nothing major yet happened in the game, apart from the early shenanigans from 1 to 0, where he nearly lost his DK. He was literally that close of losing his DK. I think he TP'd at like 10 or 11 health for the DK. And here we go with... The first fight for this game, probably the first major fight of the game. And uh, Happy's Lich is already level 4 now. It's a dead fin here from 1 to 0. Ooh, Naga with the Invo Potion straight away. Same as the DK. Happy's DK had to use the Invo as well. Silence from the Dark Ranger at the moment. Lightning use from the Naga. Coil on the Lich King from Happy. He had to. And this Lich needs to TP now. And this was a very, very good fight from 1 to 0. Is that the moment where we are seeing 1 to 0 owning Happy again mentally? Was this the moment where certain doubtful thoughts are going to start entering Happy's mind? And maybe start doubting himself. Maybe start thinking to himself, Jesus Christ. Anything I try against this guy, it just doesn't work. He just got my number every time we play. And it really feels like 1-0, to zero, like, he, he have mastered to play against Happy. He plays against Happy so well, it's ridiculous. I think Lin is the other, out of the top players, Lin is the other player who, who looks very strong against Happy as well. They're pretty even. Uh, last, last two times they met on major tournaments, I think Lin had him one time and Happy had him one time. And then in the meantime, I've seen loads of games in between those two on ladder. And... Again, they be like they've been exchanging maps and games between each other, one each, one each, one each, all the time. Um, so Lu uh, Lin is another one of the top, top, top players currently that looks very strong against Happy. And he looks very strong against Lin as well. He actually schooled him not long ago. Literally schooled him. Um, he beat him like four one. Was he 4-0 or 4-1? He completely dominated him 
and yeah, he just showed his class again. But then one to zero recovered, and he he beat Happy on the final, and managed to win the tournament. So you know, that is why I love to watch the best players going at it. Uh, it's so unpredictable. Even yesterday, for example, Moon got completely dominated from Lin, but I bet you next time they play, probably me, Moon's gonna do exactly the same to Lin, what Lin did to him. Um, I love to watch Warcraft when it's evenly matched on the highest level. And Happy is going for the push into 1-2-0's main. And 1 to 0 was forced to TP to defend this. And let's see how how is he going to defend this. Loads of webs on the destroyers currently. One to zero. Yep. Continuing to save that fiend. Foil on the Lich King now. Uh, so he continues to fight. That's another save fiend from one to zero. Oh, he took that destroyer with a coil. Oh my goodness. Happy having the Sobi mask on the on his DK um, should help him a lot. Uh, you see the mana regen on that DK is ridiculous, but I think he just his micro wasn't as good this time. And Happy is in trouble, and that's a dead Lich King. And this is GG. Oh my god, I think that was a big mistake from Happy. He didn't coil. Uh, the Lich King, I don't know how he missed that, but in any way, I love you guys, and I'm going to catch you again in the next one. All right, welcome back with the final third game between Happy and 1-2-0, and we are currently sitting at one map side each, and this is Concealed Hill as map number three, Happy in the bottom left corner. 1 to 0 in the top right corner and as I promised in the previous game or in game 1 I did look in the statistics between those two and it was very close um, Happy still got the advantage so 1 to 0 doesn't have the advantage uh, he only does of recent times um, Eight matches won by one to zero, and ten for Happy. Uh, and that's forty-four percent against sixty-six percent. And this is gonna be very bloody now because whoever wins this map is winning the match, and it's gonna take the points. The add to his tally already and let's see what happy is up to happy is going this time for a dk first dk with ghouls home of relics first nice 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 and in the meantime one to zero this time is going for lich king first okay Okay, so it looks like they swap in they swap in rows this time. Interesting, interesting. A bit of a bit of creativity shown by each player, a bit of diversity shown by each player. I like to see that. Okay, we're gonna go for these minions by happy right away. With the rod of necromancy. And they are creeping the same camp on each side. Um, 
so DK has the ring of protection just picked up now. And let's see where he's gonna head next. And this minion will probably go to scout. Yep. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I just realized this is still one to zero. It is still the pl the player relying on the DK. I completely swapped their places and got it all mixed up. So this is one to zero in the top corner. And Happy is with the Lich King from the bottom corner. He's got claw of attacks from that camp that he managed to creep earlier. And he's coming in to attack 1 to 0 in his base. I think he's trying to hurt 1 to 0's economy. And he's already training more acolytes. Is this gonna work for Happy? Then, nice that ghoul kill there. Nicely done by Happy. Uh, that's a very hard Lich King, though. I don't know if he. Not sure if he can stay too much more. I don't think he can. That DK. That DK has got a lot of mana. So Happy needs to be careful. Keep his distance. And I think he's already going away. Start for teleportation. 1 to 0. He's gonna chase this ghoul here. Yep. Okay. Nicely done by Happy. The knight with the creep. So, no extra experience for DK from that ghoul, at least. And Happy is using one of the minions to heal. Ritual dagger. And he stole that experience from 1 to 0 with the Frost Nova. And all these ghouls are so hurt right now. But the DK is here already. Another Frost Nova on the ghouls. Happy is collecting a lot of souls here with this Lich King. Oh my goodness. That's a dead ghoul. Kill ghoul by 1 to 0 as well though. That minion got ensnared by the creep here. I don't think Happy will be too happy about this. Nonetheless, he continues with the aggressive plays. And he is stealing this creep away from 1 to 0 as well. And Happy so far in this game has been playing like his life depends on it. Definitely, we see we are seeing an angry happy. And when I see happy playing like this, I can watch him play all day. I can stay all night of watching happy playing Warcraft 3. As long as he plays like this. Now, boot of speed. He needs to go and get that. Uh, Orb of uh, Corruption for the Lich King, I feels like. DK second. And we're going into tier 3 now as well. No tier 3 for 1 to 0 yet. And there we go. We are going for tier 3 now. Nice. Nice from Happy. That's going to be a dead acolyte. And Happy is doing all the right things so far. He knows that 1 to 0 is going to try and go into tier 3. And he is coming in here. To hurt 1 to 0 economy. And that's exactly what is he going to do. Oh my goodness. Start for teleportation now. But... Three out of the five acolytes are dead. 
And 1 to 0 is super, super hurt now. His economy is... He's destroyed. Forces are under attack. Okay, he had a third acolyte, so maybe he only lost three. In any case, he's not gonna get the other acolyte until that tier tech three finishes. And uh, that is a long time. That is a long time, boys. And I feel like Happy would now, if he plays his cards right. From here onward, he will gain all kinds of advantages on 1 to 0. On the other hand, he is nearly finished his tier 3 himself. Slaughterhouse already up. Statues on the way. The but happy. And he knows he knows that 1 to 0 is hurt at the moment. And instead, now he's going to take his natural here. Happy is in cruise control right now in this game. He's like, nope. I know I hurt you. And I know you can't do nothing right now. So I'm going to do... Now we're going to play by my tempo. Now I'm going to force you to come. To try and change the course of the game. At 1 to 0 is trying to respond to Happy's Expo with an Expo of his own. That's a very good sense of the game demonstrated by 1 to 0 here. He realized, hold on, Happy has been away from me uh, for a little while now. So most likely what is he doing right now? He's probably taking his natural on his side of the map so i'm gonna do the same in the meantime clever cleverly placed sentry wards from happy this one just expired but he still got another one over here and happy now can see that one to zero is heading down his way and happy is taking the ogre lord here Level 4 on the Lich King. Oh, Legion of Doom on the Lich King. And Happy is just way ahead in this game. I feel like higher level heroes, way better items on the Lich King. Further ahead. Uh, managed to slow down 1 to zero's economy big time. And I think we can see this in the fight. This is nearly a dead legion. That is a dead lich king. And GG Happy is proving all his critics wrong. Everybody that said that 1 to zero is currently the best player, blah, blah, blah. Forget about the boys. The last emperor is looking strong. He seems like he's back again, feeling fresh after New Year celebration. And this is a win for Happy. Thanks for stopping by. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you on the next game.